How's it going everybody, Adam here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Freedom Project. Today we're going to get in and do some base scripting slash coding, and we're mainly just setting up a lot of our base scripts that are going to be required later on. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get uh, Ambryon's modeling. I did the same thing as me. Same Made the same mistake as he did last time. I didn't get any of his, of his rigging done, unfortunately. But again, no exactly required. Probably won't need it for another... At most, I would say... Well, at the earliest would be next week. But I would most likely assume... Two to three weeks. Just making sure that all this stuff gets sorted. Anyway. This folder is going to be getting a lot of stuff in it over the next couple of weeks. But first, so let's get started. We're going to need a well, a character script we we're going to call Pokemon might just call it Pokemon character. Or just Pokemon in general. Yeah, this is that. We'll see these are the ones I'm hoping to get done today at least. We need a type. Just need to leave it at type. Do 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 next one what we'll also need is a move oops move and potentially later on I've just got stuff open to the side whether or not we Im I implement them at all the ability ability and hopefully the other one we can get done today thank you for not having it highlighted would be status or status, or st it don't, doesn't really matter. There's a few others in there, but I'm not sure if we'll get to them today or not. Just making sure I got all of them indeed do. So first of all, since we have these other scripts made, we'll jump into the Pokemon one. Except this doesn't open. Beginning with, ah, uh, what happened? There we go, just the thing was lagging out a little bit there. Okay. So, realistically for this one, oh, we, I was going to say we won't need to start an update, but we, we'll probably need them later on so we can just leave them there. But first thing being obvious, a lot of these are going to have to be public too. So we will need public st string for their name, if I can type, because I have trouble at the moment. Potentially later on, depending on how this is set up, we may or may not need a model for them. But I'm going to just leave that in here for now. Whether or not that gets added in code, in via code or not, I'm not entirely sure. And in with that as well, oops, will be their material, which might come in handy to be an array. That's potentially. If we want to have like scratch marks or something, or if we end up using something else for that. Alright, so the next one, we will need their type, which we have our own thing for. This one will be a uh, primary type. Yep. Next one, again, type. That would be secondary type. Because as you know, our Pokemon have two types. And then we have our next class for the ability. Uh, ability. Yep. There we go. A lot of these is going to be recalled the same thing over and over again, unfortunately. Now we're going to have a public. I would rather use a list. Because I've just. It's unsafe. No, oh, we don't want that. System.collections.generic. This will allow us to put down here a list of type move. And we will just call this moves. And we may need to equal. I might just do that. Just in case there's problems down the road. Now, so that's 
that, that's basically the main, normal main stuff, apart from well, in normal games anyway. The stats. Nope, I didn't make that class. We need to go back for that. Uh, There's the one I overlooked. We will also need a stats class. Okay, so go back here, stats, and stats, update, thank you. Alright, so that's basically the, apart from, oh actually no, stats has all the stuff, that's pretty much the generic normal stuff you get for the Pokemon. Now, uh, Potentially thought of another thing that should have been added on there that I forgot. The that might be within status actually. Probably put it inside of that. Uh, the the actual the actual move stats uh, statuses. So we have stats and a status. Actually, no, yeah, no public status. I'm not entirely... Wait, no, I have one. Why am I confusing myself? Stat... Status. I, I had that written down, didn't I? Did I not? I'm so confused at the moment. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> made... I... Sorry. Yeah, I made that up on the fly. That was meant to be a stats class, not a status class. That's... that. That's what my problem was. Anyway. Continue on. You want... This may or may not stay, but in future, oops, I know that, that should have still worked. A, a string for their main movement, which for now is ground, uh, sky, or there, keep them in like, the generic areas, ground, sky, or dip, dip, water, I suppose, in which I should just say flying for this one. So we'll just be able to give buffs and debuffs for the other areas if need be. Okay, then we have some public floats. I will organize this back in a second for their walk speed. Kind of need to throw float in there. Then flat. That works. Flat works. Then we need a public float for their run speed as well. Also realizing if I'm doing this with rigid body things, the one thing that I forgot to list, which I put at the top. Uh, the two handy things to have would be the transform, called my transform, and the rigid body. Which also be named my rigid body. Alright, are those two? Then two things I need to double check up on in the, the proper way to do the Thor thing is a public float for their jump height or I think better. Max jump height. Uh, it might come back to that. I might, might just leave that as jump height, but for now we'll, leave, we'll do for max. And then a public flight again for the time to apex. Back again, spell, which will just set up the amount of time it takes to reach that jump height. And then uh, just a obvious uh, one method that I've got listed at the moment, uh, which would be a void, which would be take damage. Again, I'm really just getting the basics down. It should probably come down as a float. I can spell float. I've spelt it many times above it. And damage or amount is my preference. Okay, so that's a very rough outline of Pokemon. Now if we go into type, 
which is the next one I have defined a little bit. This ending thing. Drive me nuts. So again, we go off with the the string for the name. Uh, they will be getting into an interesting thing with this. Um, I think the way I want to handle it is at the beginning when you'll first load up the game because we're going to have a game manager that'll be just alive throughout the entire throughout the entire game it'll load up this text file which I've written in the values for the attacking Pokemon so that's what the first one's called uh, first one is and the values that follow after it or its effectiveness against the types vertically so for instance fire everything's usually point you know value of one against normal except for fighting which is times two so on and the only things on here are as you should be able to see uh, normal damage twice the amount of damage and then half the damage so that'll be in here or won't necessarily be in here but the type will need to have let's say some kind of knowledge of how it's weak against the things. Not quite sure how I am organizing this yet, but uh, if we had a, maybe we want a list for this as well. Again, something that might change in the past, but we shall see. Uh, so we'll get a list of types again. And this one will be called weak. This is, I don't, now that I'm typing this out, I don't think I need this at all. If I'm going to do my, uh, da, 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 load in the thing at the start. Uh, train of way, what else would the type need though? It would need its name weakness. I'm not sure if this, game, this class is actually needed anymore. If I just duplicate that, and strengths for this one. Again, I'm just going to leave this in, that's, that's fine. Leave it in for now, and potential for the no effect. No effects. No effects. No effect. Just no effect. Leave it like that. And that would be, whether or not this class is even needed at the moment. Not well, I need it for, I need it for the name. Potentially other stuff might go in there, so we will leave that for now. And if we go back and now open the move or moves script, this one will have a name, which I should have made the other one public. We should go back to that. Or well, I'll fix that up later. That's that was not right at all. So we have a name. We need the moves type. It's public. Type. type it will need a, a potential list but do most, most moves only have one no because flinching is probably considered I don't know if I can see that status but for now again with the again with the whole collections oops it missed misclicked the button what am I doing generic Lose my mind. We want a list of statuses. Statuses. Which would be. So it's technically secondary effects. Which again, another one of the things that might be changing it here. Let me get rid of that. Okay. We have. A float of delay time. I'm putting. I'm making this a a value or value. Yeah, which we need another one for actually. Uh, which I just call wait time. If I can, if I can type. So this would be used in in the way of it's not enabling you to just spam a move every. 0.5 of a second 
So that's just that's there for. I was going to say safety reasons. That's that's no, for balancing, which we can be changed there. So we want a public string for our description and a float do, 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 for power or the, the base damage of the move public uh, this might be better off as an enum enum category wait yep I think I've ever had to do these. Which in here we want either physical, special, or what do they call the other ones? Physical, special. I'm going to call it other for the minute. I can't quite remember what they call it. Category in um, duh. I need to call it cat. No, it's not where they do. Where do they? I'm not sure where the actual name of this goes. Does that work? That don't work. I have to come back to that. I don't quite remember how enums work in C sharp. Fortunately, okay. Then we need. Don't know if no, necessarily have this. Thing. I'm leaving everything public at the moment. It's best to keep everything public unless you definitely know it needs to be private. Because for testing purposes, it can be helpful. But we will need a game object for the parent. Also, technically not necessary. But can be proved useful because we want to we want to know what who is the one that instantiates the attack. So we need to the parent and that's about it. So then depending on the move for the functions we will want a on avoid on trigger oh, I suppose we've got on trigger enter and they use which way around do they go? No triggers. Uh, might have this backwards, but a collider. I usually use other for these. Or in case of others on collision. Enter. Collision. Other. Do 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 do. do. I might have that backwards. I don't. Well, no, no, no. Collision is with collision and collider is with the trigger. Pretty sure. And then we need a, another. I think this one's going to be public. Potentially. So, no, I think I, think I use it in part of these. So, I'll leave that. Just go void for float. Not sure what I'm wanting this one to be. But we need to calculate late damage, which inside of it will eventually get in or apply stats. So from Pokemon, getting this one and getting, you know, depending. So the first one would be either attack or special attack. Then from that it needs to with that and then from the one that it collides with, which we might we're gonna need a game object from this one. Game object of other. There we go. And from other you need to get either Defense or special defense. Just outlining things that we're doing later on. And then we need to 
get ooh, come on, this is continue get type effectiveness. So the moves type against the others type. And then check for that almost worked. Check for secondary effects. So then that would be going using from them yeah, getting the move and getting this a list getting the list of that and going through each list and determining the percentage chance of the yeah, the percentage chance to I wouldn't say land because the moves already hit, but to flourish in. Which from that would that they are statuses, so that'll be in the status class. Uh that's about that. Oops, did that again. So if we go into status then open my developer, meet get rid of that. Put the good old collections. I don't know how I did that. Generic in there. And then as per usual, public string for the name. We will need what have I done? I gave it an effect thing. That's that's throwing me for a loop. But I presume we'd put an enum here. Do do actually enum Wait a second. Oh no. Well what's the other one do? Sorry. Experimenting on camera. Don't matter. Enum for effect. And actually, um, the, I don't think I set them up here. I think you do it afterwards. You go. I think I've worked at effect called. Oh, effect. Is that right? Do I need to do that? I think I do. Eh. So, what are the normal ones here? So, you, for an effect, you could have. I'm going to have to order these, or have these consistent throughout everywhere. The flinch, uh, burn, frozen, frozen, paralyze, uh, might have the spelling on that wrong. Not the best with spelling, unfortunately. Burn, frozen, paralysis, confusion. Dead. Me typing in keyboards. And. I don't think I've got flinch right either. This doesn't look right. Burn, frozen, paralysis. Not paralyze. Flinch. Confusion. Is there anything else? Uh. Where did I say that I was putting the debuffs? It does. I. Wait. Stats, stats, yes. <laughs> Lose myself here. And then we just have a public float uh, buff. Buffs, I'll leave it like that. Because that'll either go. I think you do, what is it? Uh, range. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Not remembering all the things at the moment that I need available to me. Um, yeah, essentially we need a buff, which would be, uh, actually, that might, status, that might have to be a stats, a stats, stats buff, uh, uh stats buffs, jeez, wow, <laughs> um, and that will be according to correlation with the normal stats. I think I was putting those into one though, wasn't I? Yeah. I've got all my little list here that's that's themselves. If we open that up. Do 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 that, that would be its own sort of thing. So you have public float. So I'm just going to copy that. So you'd have HP. 
attack. These ones are being capitalized for a reason. Uh, defense. Not defenses, defense. Special. I don't know if you can have dots in them. No, you can't. Because that would, that would make sense. Special attack. Special defense. And speed. So that's those. But then I had these again. Do, do. And then, I know, I know, I know, I know. Then buff. Buff debuff. I can't really put buff debuff in there. But essentially, might be better off to keep that in stats altogether and not in status. Might make more sense to we'll remove that out of that. Anywho, because that would affect that applies to the Pokemon itself. Not so much. The status. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. And from that. Uh, I haven't got really anything else organized out from this. Uh, apart from abilities slightly if they are to be used. Okay, go down just return if Yeah, okay, okay. We'll, we'll fix that. Move. Calculate damage and just set the moment. Return. Zero. That's only temporarily, but you can return zero. You happy now? You should be happy. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'll check that out momentarily. So as per usual, public string name. It would need a description and it's an effect as well. Well, that'd be a little bit interesting. I'm not sure how I'm handling that, even if that is as well as if these things are even going to be in here. To talk it and try to think at the same time, not working at all. <laughs> We're talking and trying to type, but not constantly thinking about the thing you're trying to, not speaking about the thing you're trying to type, a little bit difficult at times. Got that. Okay. What you got for me then? What are you going on about? Word at name, hides inherited member, object at name. Ew. Oh, okay. Ability name, type name. Ability move status type. Ability move status type. Wait, what? Was is it? Oh, I made a capital name. Let's do that then, because it's going to be trying to change the um, name of the actual game object. That's why. That's why that's having problems. Okay, somehow I subconsciously did that here without doing it, and then didn't do it at the others. Okay, that fixes that. And how long have we approximately been going for? Trying to work out. Um, and that's pretty much the. I don't know what it did then. <laughs> Confused myself. Kind of sets up the very basics of it. I mean, I can go in here and add more scripts if I wanted to. Because I had the. So I had the movement. Actually, we can add a couple of these in here. I can probably work on them. I'll try and figure out what I'm going to do for them later. Um, but movement. Whether or not that stays as a script, uh, it's up for debate, kind of. We want a text system for displaying all the talking and whatnot on screen. Uh, quest system, obviously for quests. Uh, we need items. You could probably set that one up too, although I'll probably miss some things. So I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, potential spawning of things. Although they 
kind of delves into territory unknown and menu for just menu stuff and that's pretty much the basis of what I've got at the moment and that's all I got time for today so hope you guys found this a little bit is interesting or useful and next week uh no make no promises but hopefully we can get started into a little bit more complicated stuff anyway hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next week and until then bye